Now, end of one bit, beginning of second bit. That should make it easy for you if you want to cut this. Okay. Now, Bunny, a famous cold case has been opened up. And it is all over the news right now. A lot of people are talking about it. I'm talking about the death of Natalie Wood. Really? Yeah. Yeah. They've opened up the case, and now they're saying that Robert Wagner is a person of interest. Oh, oh really? Robert. Yeah, really. What? Mm-hmm. I am so shocked. I, right? I, I want to see. I want to see. I want to see Christopher Walken on uh on trial. Not on trial. I I just want to see him in the witness box. I just want to see him dance again, like in that one video. Yes. Like one creepy music video where he starts flying at the end. Yeah. I just want to see him with a cowbell. (laughs) I wonder if he isn't self-centered enough that he would autograph a cowbell for me. I think he would. He would too. Yeah. Well, that, that, that right there opening up the, 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 the case of the death of Natalie Wood, that's 100% true, okay? Yeah. Here's another thing that's true. Well, it turns out there was another person on that boat. Um, yeah, on that yeah, boat. Yeah, okay. Was pushed. There's another person on that boat who is talking right now because it was me. Oh, yeah? I was on the boat. Ah. Uh. So let me once and for all tell you and everyone what happened on that boat because I... I was there. (laughs) So let me tell you exactly how it happened. The year was 1981. Mm -hmm. I was four years old. And like most four-year-olds in the early 1980s, I spent most of my time doing cocaine and, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, on Robert Wagner's yacht. Ah. Like most four-year-olds in the 80s. Yeah, people forget how popular it was for young kids to wake up early, watch cartoons, eat cereal, and then head on over to Robert Wagner's yacht to do drugs all day. It was really popular back at, then. At garbage the, paying kids at the time, it was hotter than Tide Pods. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. it was huge. So it's the end of November, and I'm on his yacht with him, Natalie Wood, and Christopher Walken. Have you ever really seen Christopher Walken's face up close? Uh. Y- yeah. His his entire face is a puzzle piece. <laughs> it's odd. He's like a mix and match human. <laughs> there are these Marvel toys, and it's one of those toys that that is only created so that you can buy a number of other toys. I always hate that. Yeah. I won't get these for Maxwell because you can't just buy one. You have to buy a number of them. So you buy like an Incredible Hulk and his arm comes off, his legs come off, his torso comes off, his head comes off. So it's not that you buy one action figure. It's that you buy like four or five others. So you can put Iron Man's head on Hulk's body, uh-huh. put Thor's arms on it, put like a Ultron's legs on there. Basically, that's Christopher Walken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marvel action figure. So, so the four of us are doing coke. Yeah, right. Again, I was four years old to be, but to be fair, I was a very advanced four year old. Well, and you know, you. Ah, uh, I fucked that up. I scratch that. Sure. Drew Barrymore was babysitting. There we go. There you go. Yeah. Um. So Robert Wagner just stands up like a bolt and his eyes bunny. They're like super bugged out. And, you know, I've been partying with Robert Wagner so much at that time that that I know that when he stands up, all zombied out with the crazy eyes, with the crazy eyes, like Steve Zissou screaming for Esteban. That's when, you know, Robert Wagner's had too much. Yeah. So I go, hey, Rob Dog, that was his nickname. I said, hey. Rob Dog, you uh, you all right? And he just stares out into the distance and he says, Hey, Steve, will you give me a can of Pringles if I push my wife off this boat? <laughs> and I go, okay, there's a lot to unpack here. Yeah. First off, no, 
I'm not giving you a can of Pringles. Secondly, you will go to jail if you push your wife off of this boat. And Robert Wagner is all, no, 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 you don't get it. Police can't solve crimes if water is involved. That's true. And I went, look, Rob Dog, that's the stupidest thing anyone has ever said. And he goes, no, really, watch this. And he pushes Natalie Wood off of the yacht. And almost instantly, the police show up. They look around and they say, well, I've done it. I've solved the case. Natalie Wood drowned. Well, we're (laughs) out of here. And I said, yeah, but, you know, someone pushed her. And the cops said, well, we just can't solve this. Look at all the water. And then the police police left. (laughs) And and, uh, Rob Dog just got off scot-free. But here's the worst part. I haven't even told you the worst part about this story. What's the worst part? After the police left, Robert Wagner came up to me with his hand out. And I'm like, what are you doing? I'm not going to shake your hand. You just pushed Natalie Wood off this boat. And he goes, no. Where's my can of Pringles? Oh. And I'm like, Robert, we went over this. Mm -hmm. I'm not giving you a can of Pringles. And then he's all like, no, you promised. And I said, no, I haven't. I never promised you a can of Pringles. He assumed. Yeah. And that is why I don't speak to Christopher Walken anymore. I don't blame you. You ever noticed that me and actor Robert Wagner are never seen in pictures anymore? That's why. That's mm-hmm. why right there. Boom. That is why. <laughs> because he still thinks I owe him a can of Pringles. That selfish fuck. Now, finally, the truth can come out. Yes. But basically, what I said about the, 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 the oh, police can't solve a crime if there's water, that's essentially what happened. Yeah. It's like, well, Natalie Wood was on this boat. Suddenly she's in the water. She has a fear of water, and she's always a fear of drowning. And now she's drowned to death. Let's see. There are three people on this boat. Unsolvable. Yeah. Unsolvable. Is well, Robert Wagner yep. still alive? Yes, he is. He and is. He is. Okay. he is none too pleased. <laughs> in all honesty, the only thing I remember him from at this point in time is Austin Powers. Oh, yeah. He was really good as number two. I, yes, he was, but yeah, I still remember him from uh, Heart to Heart. And oh, Christ knows where he came from before that, but he was definitely someone. I forgot about Heart to Heart. Yeah, that was Robert mm. Wagner. Too. Yeah. Well, it's hard not to think about about them together. Like, if Robert Wagner gets brought up, then I'm going to start thinking about Stephanie Powers. Yeah. Who yeah. was... Uh, D- William Holden, do you remember how he wound, how he died? Um, asphyxiation. No, this is kind of this is kind of awesome and fucked up. Um, because okay. he, it, she, Stephanie Powers and William Holden were together. That's why these thoughts run run together. Um, he didn't Hogan hear he didn't Hogan's heroes it did he? What would that be? Oh, you know the 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 guy who starred in Hogan's Heroes. He ended up he, dead in a hotel, uh, naked, hanging. Um, real close. It, it, I, it, it could have happened. It's not nearly that cool, though. Okay. Um, but no, he he enjoyed drinking a lot, like a lot, like so much you could die this way. <laughs> Like, like my brother-in-law sized. Yeah, possibly. I don't know him. Randall, not Dwayne. I just want to clarify. Dwayne is okay. Randall has a problem. Anyway, let's continue. Yes. So he got really drunk on the lion preserve or wherever it is they fucking lived. (laughs) It was something like that. It was in Africa. Okay. So he got really drunk. And he fell and he hit his head on a a lacquer coffee table. Like you do. Okay. Knocked a one inch hole in his skull. 
And instead of like calling a doctor or anything like that, because he was drunk, he was trying to like fix it himself. Um, and wound up stuffing two whole boxes of tissues into (laughs) his head to stop the bleeding. That's so weird because I was just talking to uh, Emerald about the one time I I got a staph infection. Yeah. I got a staph infection when I was in California, and um, I didn't know what a staph infection was. But but I had this like tiny little bump on my inner thigh, and it itched a little bit. And then the next day, it was the size of a golf ball. Really? Yeah, so we so we went to the doctor and they saw us and immediately they saw it. They said, "This is a staph infection. We need to get rid of this immediately." The only way the only so what they did <clears throat> was they basically dug a deep, deep hole into my leg, uh-huh. and they shoved gauze in the hole. Yeah, to suck up the I don't know the juice, the juice. Uh, the Steve juice, the Fleeb juice, uh-huh. and they and I said, "Oh, so you're just gonna like cut me up? You're gonna melon ball me, basically." <laughs> so they said, "Don't worry, we'll give you some pain meds." So, uh, so they said, "Okay, but we need to do this fast. This is an immediate thing. This this is a serious danger to you and and to your life. We need to do this immediately." And so, so the doctor left, and then. Eventually, a nurse comes in and gives me like two big pain pills. Yeah, but here's but here's the thing. Maybe I should have questioned this, but also these are medical professionals, and I shouldn't have had to. But they gave me they give me two big pain pills, and then about six minutes later, the doctor comes in and starts digging a hole into my leg. Uh huh. Yeah, and he's like halfway done. And I'm just squeezing my wife's hand so hard, like I feel like I'm going to pop her. And I'm just in pain and screaming. And he's halfway done when he goes, wait, you can feel this? And I go, yeah, it hurts. I'm like in tears here. But didn't we give you pain pills? And I said, yeah, five minutes ago. Oh. And they go, oh, we should have waited for those to kick in. Duh. (laughs) So they had to keep going. And so it was the weirdest, grossest thing ever. And I felt the entire thing. Oh. Them digging this big, giant hole into my leg and then shoving it with gauze. Mm-hmm. And so, like, a couple of days later, you know, they ring me out. They pull the gauze out. Yeah. And they're doing it, and it hurts like crazy. It hurts like heck because my the wound is kind of like healed around the, the, the gauze Mm -hmm. with all the fleeb juice in it. And it hurts like crazy to just be pulling this part of me now out of me. And they're halfway done with pulling it until the, the doctor said, wait, this hurts you. (laughs) And I go, yeah. And he goes, didn't you take a pain pill before you came here? And I said, Nobody told me to take a pain pill before I came here. I was supposed to do that. (laughs) So long story short, I never saw that doctor again. Yeah. Good plan there. Yeah. So I still have the scar on my leg from the hole where people were making orange juice out of me. (laughs) Mr. Steve juice. Really weird. Yeah. Yeah. 